Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm gonna show you our tasting ant traffic device that we've built out here in the jungle. You may have already seen uh, our earlier work trying to figure out how to solve the problem of sensing ants. We came up with a solution that works for kind of larger ants. It seems to kind of function on these chromatogaster here. They're a nice medium-sized black ant. Uh, and the way it works is you have these fiber optics that are sanded. And right when a cute little ant happens to walk over these thin little fiber optics, it changes the light that's entering these photoresistors over here. This all goes down to our Arduino. The Arduino measures these changes in current and then it can output uh, that there's an ant detected, there's an ant going by, or a beetle, some sort of jungle traffic happening on an arbitrary surface. Now what's tricky is how do you share this information? Uh, you could just write down all this information. Um, you could make beeps and bloops and sounds and try to decipher um, orally uh, what's happening in this ecosystem. But I wanted to try out uh, something a little bit different. So we're trying to, to taste and use our tongues, high resolution spatial imagery to our advantage for detecting these ants at different geometric locations along the tree. If you follow me up the tree past some of these sensors that we have here, you'll see we have, oh, is this an ordinary leaf? Oh no, it's not. It's a tongue zapper. It's an electro leaf tongue display. You get kind of a, a tickling sensation on your tongue when you're wearing this. If I want to know what's happening with my ants, I can just go, hmm, mm-hmm, put a thumb down below. And uh, there's a little tickling in the middle. And there's a, a tall thing down below again. <laughs> and up high or something. <laughs> I made this um, just yesterday, I think. Uh, it's basically two leaves with some conductive thread sewn into it in little patches. This one has three electrodes on it. There's a ground in the middle and then there's different outputs along the outside. When an ant's detected, the outside goes high and it creates, when your tongue is pressed against there, a little electrical impulse that you can feel. So these are actually, because I'm not the best sewer, and sewing on leaves is kind of tricky, but these are actually pretty large tongue displays. But if you were good, you could actually make much higher resolution tongue display. Mine's just three different sensors right now. You could probably fit up to maybe nine comfortably on your tongue and be able to feel them with decent accuracy. And, ah, oh, there's a little guy who was up high for me. Um, what's nice about this is when you're in the jungle, there's all these different shapes and surfaces. And if you want to just try to stare at something, your vision is actually quite limiting to what you can take in from the world. Um, if I'm staring at this tree, I can't see, oh, there's actually an ant walking around on the back side of the sensor. And I have no idea what's going down uh, on this part uh, or way over on this other branch of the tree that I'm looking at. But I can try to consolidate all of these um, and your brain's plastic enough that you could do this with many sensors and if you got good at it and you just sat there and kind of meditated with it, uh, you could get a pretty good idea of the kind of waves of traffic and how they move through the varying uh, shapes and contours of this tree. Also, it's just kind of fun. Yeah, so the fiber optics still need a good amount of refining, but we can always do this uh, back in the lab just in order to make them a bit more sensitive uh, to exactly what we're trying to detect and get the really, really small ants. But other than that, this is a really fun project and you should totally try it at home. Mm-hmm. Mm.